Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIBS Home School. This is Muhammad Imdadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. Dear students, today I am here to conduct a math class of class 3. Our today's topic is chapter 7, EMB page 78. EMB page means Elementary Mathematics Book, page 78. From activity 2, we will solve two questions. Questions are 2 and 3. These two questions we will solve today. Question 2 and 3 from activity 4 at page 78. Dear students, in the last class, basic of this chapter is discussed. Now we will solve these two problems depending on the basic. Okay, let us start our today's topic. These two problems are addition. These two problems are addition. Dear students, here observe the question is 74 taka 49 paisa. We have to add 36 taka 95 paisa. To add, at first we have to add paisa with paisa. Here is 49, here is 95. If we add these two, we will get 9 and 5 is 14. One left, 9 and 4 is 13 and remaining one that is 14. The students now observe here, sum of these two paisa is 144 paisa, 144 paisa. But you know 100 paisa means 1 taka. So subtract 100, you will get 44. So in paisa we have to write 44, 44 paisa. The students observe that for this 100 paisa we will get 1 taka as 100 paisa is equal to 1 taka. For this we can write 1 taka remaining. If we add this to paisa we will get 144 paisa and if we write 44 paisa then remaining is 1 taka. Remaining is 1 taka. This 1 taka we have to add with this taka. So at first do the addition here. Here is 4 and 6 that is 10 and remaining 1 taka is 11. So we have to write here 1. Remaining 1 now add 7 and 3 this will be 10 and remaining 1 will be 11. So we can write 111 taka 44 paisa. This is our sum. So we can write total. So we can write total. Therefore, total as we are adding, as we have added, so we have to write total. The sum is 111 taka 44 paisa. And we can write our answer. 111 taka 44 paisa. The students, this is a very simple question. Then go to the next addition. Question 3. 387 taka 81 paisa. We have to add 2502 taka 74 paisa with the previous one. If we add we have to add paisa with paisa at first. Then we have to go to taka. So add 4 and 1, this will be 5. Now add 7 and 8, this will be 8 and 7 is 15. So we will get 155 paisa. How, how many paisa here? 100. 55 paisa. The students, you know, 1 taka is equal to 100 paisa. 
So if we subtract 100 paisa from this, we will get 55 paisa. And for this 100 paisa, we can write 1 taka. So this 1 taka will go to the portion taka. Okay. Then we can write remaining 55 paisa in paisa. We can write 55 paisa in paisa. And as remaining 1 taka, this we have to add with this taka. At first add 7 and 2, this will be 9. So add this one, some will be 10. So we can write here 0, remaining 1. Now add 8 and 0, that will be, that will be 8 and remaining 1 is 9. Now add 5 and 3, this will be 8 and here is 2. So we can say 2890 taka, 55 paisa is our required sum. So we can write here total, 2890 taka, 55 paisa. The students observe that when we are adding paisa, then if it is larger than 100, then we have to subtract 100. If it is larger than 100, then we have to subtract 100. And difference we have to write in paisa. Difference we have to write in paisa. And for 100 paisa, as we know, 100 paisa is equal to 1 taka. Remaining 1 ta taka, we have to add with taka. You have to remember this to do such type of addition. The students, I have given two questions for your homework. Such type of question I have given. You can open your book at page 80 for homework. I have given from page 80, from page 80, activity 2, question 3 and 4. Question 3 and 4 is given as your homework. I have written here. This is your homework 7. EMB page, it means elementary mathematics book page 80, activity 2, question 3 and 4. You have to do as your homework. The students, homework is important for your annual examination as your CT marks, diary marks and SBA marks will be given based on the performance of your homework. Submit your homework on the next Sunday and keep practicing at home, abide by your parents, stay home, stay safe, see you again, inshallah, salamu alaikum.